You again. Bye, Sidis. I don't have all day. Hurry it up. Bye, Sidis. I don't have all day. Hurry it up. You've got just that's more than see a fine transaction. Just foul smelling ape. I have another contract when you're ready. One that will rely on your ability to remain fully undetected. Far to the west, there lives a fierce warlord and his company of loyal mercenaries. Your target is the warlord. Do you accept this contract? Excellent. Now listen closely. Nestled in the mountains to the west lies Fort Soch. It is the home of the warlord Roderick and his mercenaries. Roderick has recently taken ill. He now lies in eternal slumber, kept alive only by the daily administration of a powerful medicine. You must infiltrate Fort Such, find Roderick's medicine, and replace it with a poisoned bottle I will provide. But you must remain undetected. Whomever arranged this contract wants it to look like Roderick died from his illness, so discretion is essential. Attack no one. Be seen by no one. If you are detected, the poisoning will fail, and Roderick must be killed in some other manner. That will, of course, forfeit your bonus.
Mud crabs more fearsome than you. Hail, champion. Please, go. Have you not heard? The Oblivion Crisis has ended. Martin Septim gave his own life to destroy the Daedra Horde. We are victorious. If you run into trouble, come find me. The high. I have enough.
I've seen your kind before. You've got blood on your hands. Keep your blade sheathed, you murdering bastard, or I'll put you down myself. It's over, citizen. Please. There's evil afoot, citizen. And if you've got to do... Whatever... Whatever you... If you want... Whatever... Carry on. I just don't know. Is the medicine sustaining Roderick's life, or just postponing his death? How can he survive? And let us trust a bit less to faith and a bit more to our own strength. I shall huh? side. It's just a matter of time before our leader returns to us. I can feel it in my heart. Certainly. Poor Tivola. Farewell. Hi. I'm done talking to you. Find 
Hello. Ah, so you infiltrated forth such remained undetected, and replaced the medicine with the poison I provided. You are truly a master of shadow. It pleases me greatly to offer you this reward and a well-earned bonus. Go now, rest. I'll have another contract ready whenever you are. a dark gift from the Night Mother herself. Please. I know what you're thinking. Happy hunting, my brother. Hello, brother. It's good to see you again. The Night Mother has been smiling upon you, I hope. Long ago, in an age now forgotten, Sithis came to the Night Mother and begat her five sons. So you see, his love gave birth to the Dark Brotherhood. May your arrows always strike true. So good to see you. Is yes, dearest brother. Don't tell anyone else, but someday I'm going to have Uchiva's position. Just you wait and see. Lucy and Lachance knows real talent when he sees it. Good luck, brother. I hope you don't get killed. <laughs> I mean, seeing you again is like a blessing from the Night Mother herself. So, are you ready to mingle with the doomed house guests? The contract is waiting. Do you like parties? Because you've been invited to one. Of course, you'll be killing all the other guests. Are you ready to attend? Splendid. You need to go to the city of Skingrad, to the large house known as Summit Mist Manor. There, you will meet up with five very unlucky guests. In order to receive your bonus, you must kill each guest secretly, one by one. If anyone sees you committing murder, the bonus is forfeit. The guests believe there is a chest of gold hidden in the house, and have agreed to be locked inside until one of them finds it. In fact, the guests believe the key to the manor is inside the chest, and only by satisfying their greed will they be allowed to leave. Poor fools. There is, of course, no chest of gold. The guests will find no key. After you arrive, the doors will be locked behind you, as everyone expects. When all the guests lie dead, you will be free to leave. Now go. See the doorman at Summit Miss Manor. He will explain the rest. Have fun. Go now, dear family member, and may the night mother back in the door. Just one. We're here to help. Tell me. Be seen. So the last guest finally arrives. I'll tell you what I told all the others. You go in, I lock the door. You don't come out until it's over. Now I'll tell you what I didn't tell everyone else. 
We have the same mother, you and I. And she wants you to have this. It's the key to the house. I guess someone else has already told you the other details. Kill all the guests, then leave, right? Well, you better get in there. Time to mingle. I enjoy the wines that Tamika makes at her vineyard. And they're reasonably priced as well. Please, go on. Go, go, socialize. Talk to those fine people, and then plunge your knife into their throats when they ain't looking. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? There's a party, and you're the guest of honor. All I get to do is lock the damn door. You get to have all the fun. The sixth guest has finally arrived. Well, it's about time. Do you know how long we've been waiting? It seems like an age. Whoever invited us here must at least know us, don't you think? In any event, we're all stuck here together, so we might as well get acquainted. The rest of us have already traded introductions. I'm Matilda Petit. The others are Nels the Naughty, Neville, Devizi Dran, and Primo Antonius. Now, who might you be? Please, tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, you poor dear. Well, this does make things difficult for me. I want to find the gold as much as anyone, but you need it so much more than I do. The little dark elf. She seems a nice enough girl, but to be perfectly honest, I've never trusted their kind. That's right, it's a Breton name. I'll have you know the Petites are one of High Rock's oldest and most respected noble families. He's a Nord. Mead swilling barbarians, all of them. From what I gathered, he's a retired soldier. He's been all across the Empire fighting in various campaigns. Goodness, he's handsome. He's young, well-educated, and obviously full of himself. Not much different than any young nobleman, really. That's right, it's a Breton name. I have a good Shall idea. I, so that where I, should my find the I don't want to break Let's anything, go. but the Hello, I'm Dovesi. I'm very pleased to meet you. Now that you're here, we can really start looking for that chest of gold. What I mean to say is, before you arrived, we all just sort of glanced around a bit. Now that we're all officially here, we can look in earnest. Not much to tell about me, really. I'm from Morrowind originally, but my family moved to Valenwood a few years ago. Well, I really don't know her, but she seems like a very respectable old lady. I wonder what makes him so naughty. He seems nice enough to me. He's a very serious man, but I guess that's normal for a retired soldier. He's very handsome. But please, don't tell him I said so. <laughs> I have so a good here we idea all where are. that chest might... So, you finally showed up. It's about time. People of my station are not accustomed to waiting. She's quite beautiful, isn't she? A little young, perhaps, and not exactly highborn, but she possesses a unique elegance. The old woman... She's quite a pest, really. I think she's gotten it into her head that I need mothering or something. She is sorely mistaken. There's something about Nels I can't quite place. He's not for money, that's obvious, but I don't think he's quite the buffoon he seems either. He reminds me of the guards under my father's employ, strict, no nonsense, and ready to fight at a moment's notice. It's a regal name from a rather regal family. Indeed, my father owns more property than the East Empire Company. All right, then. I guess I'd better start looking. That gold's not going to find itself. A tavern? <laughs> oh, I should have known. 
Leave it to a barbarian to spend an entire chest full of gold on beer and mead. How pathetic. You can call me a barbarian. It's true. And I'm proud of the fact. But you call me pathetic again, and I'm going to show you just how barbaric I am. With every word you speak, you're just proving me right, Nord. Your kind has contributed nothing to our empire, and never will. <laughs> My kind, as you like to call us, are plenty happy serving our own needs, while your useless empire crumbles down around you. Your words border on truth. Well, hello there. Nels is my name. Some call me naughty, but don't you believe it. <laughs> Let me confide something in you, my friend. Dovisi is the spinning image of my own daughter. Her skin is darker, of course, but that sweet face. My daughter was killed, you see, a few years back by bandits. I'm sorry. Please forgive a father's heavy heart. <laughs> you should have seen the old biddy trying to talk to young Primo Antonius. She may be a noble, but he looked down on her like a scullery maid. Ah, don't let the name fool you. I had a bit too much mead a few years back, and there was this tavern wench. Anyway, just call me Nels. I will confide something in you, my friend. I despise Neville and all his Imperial Legion ilk. They are useless, uncaring tools of corruption. Three years ago, my village in Skyrim was attacked by bandits. We went to the nearby Imperial Legion outpost, but they refused to help us. My dear sweet daughter Olga was killed that day. She was murdered, and the Legion would do nothing to help her. Neville and his kind are scum. Primo is young and rich. I can sense a good, decent person in there somewhere. He just has to get his priorities straight. Hello there. Oh, yes. Uh, maybe we'll speak again later. Ah, yes. The sixth guest. I'm Neville. It's nice to make your acquaintance. Ah, yes. Dovizi Dran. She's a dark elf originally from Morrowind or so I hear. I get the sense she doesn't like me very much. Matilde seems like an upstanding citizen of the Empire. She respects the law and recognizes the Legion as Tamriel's greatest defense against evil. Nels is a Nord, and like all Nords, he's a lawless barbarian with no respect for authority. Nels is a Nord, and like all Nords, I'm a Red Guard, though I've never actually been to Hammerfell. I was born here in Cyrodiil. My family has been in the Legion for three generations. Primo's a blue blood, a noble through and through. He thinks he's better than most people, and in most cases, he's right. All right, then. I guess I'd better start looking. That gold's not going to find itself. Have you heard, my friend? One of our fellow guests has been murdered. This bodes ill for our stay and our search for the gold. You want to know how I really feel about Neville's death? I'm afraid. I may hate the Imperial Legion, but its members are trained warriors. 
Neville was probably the most capable fighter among us, yet he was cut down silently, just a few rooms away. I fear one of us is not who they appear. This isn't the work of some greedy house guest. There's an assassin among us. You mark my words. We must watch ourselves at every step. You'd be smart to stay with the rest of the group. It's just not safe to go wandering off alone with a... Oh, this is just horrible. Who could do such a thing? Who could kill a defenseless person in cold blood? Greed truly brings out the worst in people. I... I can't believe he's dead. Such a strong, handsome man. You'd be smart to stay with the is rest of the group. Is that why someone invited us here? It's just not... Did you hear? Someone has been murdered. One of us. One of the guests. Neville was strong. A soldier. If he was murdered, this does not bode well for the rest of us. You'd be smart to stay with the rest of the group. I... I can't believe it's true. One of us is dead. And everyone else is convinced it was no accident. I... I don't understand. Who would kill him, and why? Is this about the gold? You'd be smart to stay with the rest of the group. It's just not safe. Have you heard? Someone's been murdered. One of us. Have you heard? You'd be smart to stay with the rest of the group. It's just not safe to go... not safe to be alone. Two of us dead? Who would do this? And why? Is that why we're all here? To be killed like vermin? I feel like I'm going mad! Not much to tell about me. I... Don't go far. It's too dangerous to go wandering around this house. I haven't seen death like this in a long, long time. It's a bit more than my nerves can handle, I'm afraid. I plan to gather up every drop of drink in this house and keep it to myself. If things get any worse around here, I find comfort there, you see. Stay safe, if that's even possible. Two people are now dead. And for what? A trunk full of coins? How pathetic. Don't go far. It's too dangerous to go wandering around this house. a killer, but who?
My friend, please stay safe. Three of us have been murdered. Besides you and me, there's only one guest left, if you know what I'm saying. I've seen death like this before. Many years ago, my daughter was murdered by bandits who came to our village. I'm... I'm sorry. I... I need a drink. This is insane. We're being hunted down one by one. There must be a way out of this madhouse. So many people dead. Only three of us left. Only three. Where are you going? What are you doing? We need to keep our eyes on each other. to die. I just want to go home. Go home. Something is just a bit off about glass. I don't know you, and I don't care to know you. I don't Greetings. know you. Congratulations on your victory. Your fame was well deserved, it seems. Congratulations. done. Not only did you kill the five guests, you acted as an agent of terror and grief. You have earned your reward and bonus, assassin. I lay upon you now the Night Mother's blessing. May she walk with you always and guide your hand as you act in accordance with the five tenants. Greetings once more, assassin. When you're ready, I have a most important contract. One that has been sanctioned by the Black Hand itself. Do you recall the name Adamus Philida? The Imperial Legion best? It's time he joined Sithis in the Void. Think you're up to the task? Adamus Philida has spent his entire career investigating the Dark Brotherhood, interrupting our contracts, killing our family members. We tried to eliminate Philida, of course, but failed on three separate occasions. He's a powerful man, and was surrounded by powerful associates. Now the Legion Pig's years of service have come to an end. He has retired. Philida must not be allowed such a victory. His destiny is... darker. Philida now resides in Leowin, in the City Watch barracks, an honored guest of the soldiers there. He is in fact more vulnerable than ever. <laughs> yes, yes, 
The Black Hand has sanctioned the Rose of Sithis. It is an enchanted arrow that will kill Philida instantly. As long as the arrow hits Philida, he will die. But it cannot pierce armor. Shoot while Philida is armored, and the rose will be wasted. Travel to Leowen. Track Philida. Learn his schedule. Observe when he removes that blasted legion armor, and then let fly the Rose of Sithis. Kill Philida in any way, rose or not, and the contract is complete. But to receive a bonus, you must go beyond murder. You must send a message. Once Philida is dead, sever his finger, the one that bears an Imperial Legion's signet ring. Deposit this finger in the desk of Philida's successor, in his office in the prison barracks, in the Imperial City. Do this, and the bonus is yours. Go now, dear family member, and may the night mother wrap you in her cold. You know, I saw your fight against the Grey Prince. Nobody thought that orc could be beat, but you showed them all. <laughs> So good to see. Hail, my brother. So good to see you. Is there anything you need? Good day. Spill some blood for me. You again. Bye, Sidis. I don't have all day. Hurry it up. You ripped. Just take your. How are you? Okay, you? Not bad. Have you ever made any bets with Jabari? He pays his debts, but his love of dogs is just odd. I've heard he leaves meat in his backyard to attract them. You think? If you've got to travel, by the Nine Divines, stay on the roads. The wilderness just isn't safe anymore. We've had sightings, you see. The Daedra. Interesting. Bye. Take care. Do we know each other? There's something familiar about you, but I just can't place it. Yes, well, I'm a very busy man, enjoying my retirement, don't you know? So why don't you just go away? We're here to say I was walking past Rosen. Eight of the morning one. The old man. Ha! He's easy to protect. <laughs> <laughs> 
Every day's the same. He visits the Coast Guard station, goes for a swim, never puts himself in harm's way. Bye. It's you. Hi. Hi. How can I assist you, champion? What do you need? Be seen. My ear, citizen. There's an orb named... Good day. What do you need, champion? It is a privilege. Morning, sir. The Count's been... Tell me more. Bye. Please, go ahead. Sir. Farewell. Speak.
speed. So, what do you have to report? Didn't you hear the explosion? <laughs> Some damn drunk of a wizard started hurling fireballs at passers-by. Took four guards to haul him in. No heroics now, all right? Remember your training and do what you have to do. But don't take any unnecessary risks. Well, I should go. If you need any backup, just give me a shout. Have my ear, citizen. All hail the
The common folk of Leowin recognize your valor, even if Count Terentius does not. What do you need, friend? There's a bed for you if you need it. A mere ten gold for the night. Very well. Room number two, just near the entrance. If you need food or drink, let me know. Farewell. Can you spare a coin? Duty. We're here to help. Is there a... Bye. What can I... Something like... Take your time. Have you not heard? Move along. Something. Long live the Empire. What is it, sir? Long live the Empire!
Carry on. Duty. Please. You too. Hello. So good to see you. Is there anything? Adamas Philida is dead. I could feel my heart swell with the Night Mother's love the moment that Imperial Pig issued his last breath. You have done a great service to the Dark Brotherhood today, Assassin. Your reward is well earned. You also managed to leave Philida's severed finger as a warning to his successor. Well done. Your bonus. 500 additional gold coins is well earned. Go now, get some rest. Sithis knows you've earned it. When you're ready for another contract, you need only ask. <laughs> 